hello hello my beautiful people today we are making this amazing dress with long sleeve and the ruffles at the top and this sleeve has elastic at the red if you have not watched how i adjust the pattern i would recommend that you should go and watch how i adjust the top pattern and how i adjust the sleeve remember to subscribe if you haven't comment down below if you have any question i will always respond to you like our video so that youtube can push us out to the algorithm follow us on all our social media platform at hello angel design facebook instagram pinterest tumblr follow us at hello angel design even on tiktok yes we are on tiktok follow us at hello angel design follow us on our website www.helloangel.design and please also follow us on our new youtube where i make handmade natural soap is edo.beauty so please go and follow us on that youtube you will love the way i make the handmade so how i put them together all my video are always detailed those of you that follow me knows that all my video are very details like thank you for your comment thank you for your subscription thank you for the viewers thank you for the new subscribers thank you all so much i can't thank you 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 enough and let's put this dress together First thing that you have to do you open your front dress this is the front of my top dress and i will pick the back i am going to be putting the both shoulder seam together like this i will take it to my sewing machine i will stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance once i am done stitching i will take it to my overlocker i will overlock the shoulder seam row edges and I will also overlock the center back raw edges. Once I am done with that, I will take my raffle sleeve. So what I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine. I will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge. I will also repeat the same process with the second raffle sleeve. Once I am done with that, I will hem the bottom edge and I will also repeat the same process with the second one. I will hem the bottom edge. The next thing that you have to do, you take your facing to your ironing board. You are going to iron your interfacing on your facing. So what you are going to do when you iron interfacing on your facing, make sure you are ironing it at the back of the fabric. Once you have done with that, then you turn your fabric. Make sure to also iron interfacing at the back of the back facing from once you have done with that you what you are going to do you will put the both shoulder seam of the facing together like this both front fabric are facing each other you are going to stitch the shoulder seam once you have done stitching the shoulder seam take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and also overlock the center back raw edges of your facing I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress and I've also overlocked the center back and I also overlocked the shoulder seam. This is how it is. So the next thing that we have to do, we are going to put the back of the top dress together. So you put them together. What you are going to do, you are going to stitch the center back. So you place your measuring tape at the neckline. You are going to measure that nine centimeter. This is it. I have marked my nine centimeter is right here. Once you measure the nine centimeter down, all you have to do, you put them together, make sure that they are matched. You go ahead and secure them with a pin. Make sure that you mark this side and you also mark this other side. I have done that. This is my marker right here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put a different pin right here so that I know I'm going to start stitching from there. And I will 
go ahead and pin the rest of the center back together once you have pinned it together the next thing that you have to do you are going to go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance remember when we were cutting our fabric we add one centimeter seam allowance at the center back so you start from here and then you end at the waistline once you have done that take it your top dress to your ironing but make sure to press the seam apart once you have pressed the seam apart the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch your sleeve before you stitch your sleeve make sure that you know the back and the front for me i make a mark cut right here you can see my cut right here this is the front this is the back so what i'm going to do i am going to fold it like this and i will take it to my sewing machine i'm going to stitch the side seam of my sleeve together with one centimeter seam allowance and i will take the second pieces i will repeat the same process this is you just fold it on top of each other stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitch it take it to your overlocker overlock it or use zigzag to overlock it once you have done that you use that opportunity to put your skirt together so we are going to stitch the side seam of our skirt so you put them together like this both sides seam together stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance and then you come down to this other side put the side seam together stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges once you have done that also stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt so go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched the center back together i take it to my ironing board i press the seam apart this is how it is and i've also stitched my boat sleeve this is how it look right now the next thing that we have to do we are going to place our facing at the neckline and then top stitch if you don't know how to cut your facing so i will use this fabric to show how to cut your facing so what you are going to do this fabric is on fold right here. You place your front pattern paper. All you are going to do, you go ahead and trace out the neckline. You just go ahead and trace it all out like this. So once you trace out the neckline, the next thing that you have to do, you determine the length of your facing. So mine is seven centimeter. All you have to do, you just take your measuring tape, place it where you mark you just measure down seven centimeter if you want it um eight centimeter nine centimeter you just go ahead and measure it all around like this seven centimeter or depends on the length that you desire once you mark that out the next thing that you have to do you just go ahead and cut it out when you are also cutting your back facing place your pattern paper make sure your pattern paper is not on fold you're cutting two pieces you trace it all out and you trace it all the way down and you also take a measurement of seven centimeters just the measurement that you take for the front the same measurement that you're going to take for the back you're not going to take a different measurement that is how to cut your facing so what you are going to do this is the shoulder seam of mine facing and you pick the top dress make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you are going to put the both shoulder seam together and you secure that with a pin and then you come to this other side put the both shoulder seam of your facing and your top dress shoulder seam together you secure that with a pin this is the center back you put them together you also secure that with a pin and you come down to this other side center back to center back secure that with a pin once you have done that all you are going to do you just go ahead and start pinning the facing around the neckline of your top dress 
I have pinned my facing around the neckline. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine. I will stitch it all around with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will take my scissors, snip around the neckline and push the seam allowance towards the face and on the stitch the neckline. I have stitched it all around this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our button loop inside so what you're going to do you pick your facing you turn it over like this so you turn it over like this i will just first take a pin to secure the facing and my top dress together this is the button loop this is the run part so the run part is going to be inside while the raw edges will be outside so you just place it inside and then you push it in properly once you push it in like that take a pin to secure that together what you are going to do you take it to your sewing machine you stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance to where the facing end and then you come down to this other side you turn it over like this and then you pin that all around once you pin it together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter where the facing end, just go ahead and top stitch. Once you have done stitching, turn it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. And you will also put the side seam of the top dress together. Put the side seam together like this. Take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with your seam allowance. Come down to this side. Put the side seam of your top dress together. Take it to your sewing machine. Stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, take it to your overlocker. Overlock the raw edges. Or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched my button loop together this is how it is i turn it inside i'll give it a good press and i've also stitched the side seam together you can see that i have started to pin my raffle sleeve at the armhole of this top dress that we are making so what you are going to do you open your top dress like this that is the armhole you pick your measuring tape we are going to take a measurement this is the shoulder seam place your measuring tape at the shoulder seam measure down seven centimeter is right here once you measure that down you come to the other side you repeat the same process place your measuring tape at the shoulder seam measure down seven centimeter is right here this is my seven centimeter so what you are going to do you pick your raffle sleeve pull them together take a scissors snip the mid part so when you are putting them together this is the front of my fabric and this is the shoulder seam and the place that you notch just make sure that is on the shoulder seam and secure that with a pin and this is the edge of my sleeve the edges out and then you secure that with a pin you come to the other side you repeat the same process push your thread aside this is the edge of my raffle sleeve and make sure that the edge is facing out and pin that in place so what you are going to do you are going to gather your raffle sleeve so go ahead and gather your raffle sleeve once you have gathered your raffle sleeve pin it together once you have pinned it together we can now place our sleeve inside the armhole and then pin it all over again i have pinned my raffle sleeve together this is how it is you can either take it to your sewing machine and stop stitch it all around before you will pin your sleeve at the armhole of your top dress or you can stitch them at the same time so for me i'm going to be stitching them at the same time so what i'm going to do this is my sleeve 
this is the front of my sleeve which I take a scissors I give it a little cut right here so what I'm going to do I will put my sleeve inside the armhole so when you're going to be pinning them together make sure to separate your facing so I will put it inside the armhole like this and then I will turn it over so I'll make sure that both front fabric are facing each other side seam to side seam you secure that with a pin and then you come to the sleeve head so you come to the sleeve head this is the sleeve head which i have also give it a notch and then you find the shoulder seam of your top dress so this is the shoulder seam of my top dress and i will secure that with a pin so what i'm going to do i am going to pin it all together make sure that when you are pinning your sleeve around the armhole the front is facing the front the back is facing the back so go ahead and pin it all around and also repeat the same process with the second sleeve once i am done pinning i will show you how my look I have pinned my sleeve around the armhole make sure to put enough pin so that you secure it the boat your sleeve and the raffle sleeve together so I have pinned them together what I'm going to do I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it all around with one centimeter seam allowance I will come down to this other side I will stitch it all around with one centimeter seam allowance once I am done with that I will take it to my overlocker overlock the raw edges so go ahead and stitch your sleeve around the armhole of your top dress I have stitched my sleeve together this is how it is once you're done stitching you can see the raffles is at the top edge of your sleeve this is how it will look you just take it to your ironing board give it a nice good press this is how it is right now the next thing that we have to do we are going to gather our skirt at the waistline of this top dress we are making you go ahead and gather your skirt at the top dress once you have done gathering take your pin pinning all around once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with half an inch or 1.3 centimeter. Once you have done that, you take your sleeve. This time you are going to hem the sleeve. I take my sleeve to my overlock. I just overlock the raw edges and I fold inside half an inch or 1.3 centimeter. I am going to top stitch it all around i will leave a gap about 2.5 centimeter or one inch because i am going to put elastic inside this sleeve and i will come down to this other side hem my sleeve with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch and i will leave a gap that is where i'm going to put my elastic so go ahead and stitch that together once you have done stitching we are almost done with this dress making I have stitched my skirt around the waistline of this dress making and I've also hemmed my sleeve all around and I leave this gap this is where I'm going to put my elastic make sure to repeat the same process with the second sleeve so once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you are going to put your elastic around the sleeve so what you are going to do you are going to take measurement the length of my elastic is 12.5 centimeters if you're using inches i would recommend you just measure five inch or what you are going to do you measure your child wrist so measure your child wrist the measurement that you get that is the measurement that you're going to put around the sleeve so what i'm going to do i will take my pin i will place it like this and i will pick my sleeve and i will pass it all the way around before my elastic goes all around i'll make sure i use a pin to secure it right here so that the elastic don't go inside then i have to start all over again so go ahead and put your elastic around the sleeve wrist i have passed my elastic through the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch 
and I will pick the second sleeve. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. Once I am done stitching, I will push the elastic inside and I will close the open gap. Once you have done that, use the opportunity to hem your skirt. I have already hemmed my skirt. Once you have done doing that, I will show you the final look of my dress making. This is the final look of my dress, beautiful dress to make for your kids and loved ones. And I've put my elastic and I've closed the open gap. Make sure you repeat the same process with the second one. And this is how it look. And remember to always hem your dress so that it come out nicely. Thank you all so much for watching our video. Your comment means a lot to me. Your like means a lot to me. Your like always push us out to the algorithm so that a lot of people can see us and see our beautiful, wonderful work we are doing right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your like and comment and subscription. And you all should have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye for now.